I am so frustrated this thing breaking off my trailer. Okay, um, it's just uh, from people walking by. So uh, I'm going to try and uh, kind of engineer something uh, that's going to work better and last longer. Now, granted, this costs under $3 at a local hardware store. And um, it breaks, you know, to me, anybody who even comes close to it and nicks it and it breaks. Now, each one of these costs about $3 and some change. Uh, stainless steel plates. And I figure that one, one is going to be up here. And the other is going to be down here. So I'm going to cut the template out. Because this is stainless steel, it's going to be hard to do with a Dremel tool. Uh, but what I'm probably going to do is uh, uh, cut, eliminate some of the cuttings by going around the edges. Now the plastic film that's on this makes it really easy to sketch a line. And what I did is uh, put this over it. And I um, marked where the center circle is. And over here, all the other uh, where the screws would go, we could just drill out. Well, in the past 20, um, 30 minutes, I've done quite a bit of work. Uh, this guy is just about done. Um, according to uh, according to the template here, all right, I have to do a bend. There's a bend right there that I have to do. Uh, I think that's uh, to bring it out underneath the uh, light, uh, under the back tail light. And probably uh, two holes, i got to figure out where the holes are going to go. I think it's going to be side by side. But I'm not going to drill those until I get the old one actually deinstalled from uh, from there. So another thing I did is I uh, I call it um, a nice, nice smooth curve, and because this is going to be exposed to anybody's legs going by, uh, I did take a grinder over there, um, and I did uh, smooth it out some, buffed it up uh, just to kind of dull it a little bit. Didn't really do a, a whole lot on, on that, but um, hey, a sheet metal is going to. It's going to scrape if it gets somebody. These parts down here will be behind the license plate. So um, what I did is anytime you uh, drill a hole into uh, sheet metal, or any kind of metal really, you want to punch punch a, a hole, it's just put that over the X that you mark and give it one good swift hit with a hammer and it'll put the hole. Another thing is make sure your drill bit you use says metal on it. Metal wood, that way you don't ruin a drill bit. On conventional lights, you have to take the screws off the, this uh, the front, take this out and unscrew from the inside and pull it out, disconnect the wires, all that good stuff. All right, uh, this is an LED light. All right, so you have to unscrew from the back, which has two uh, two nuts. Um, put a container out so you can put all your uh, hardware in it and you don't lose in uh, the dirt or the gravel or whatever you have. And um, unlike uh, Conventional lights, there's a uh, there's a hole right there that normally is there, and your lights go through this hole. Uh, so the hole that I drilled in the uh, other one didn't have to be there. <laughs> all right. Uh, while you have this off, get rid of all the uh, all the spider nest in there. Clean up the best you can. There's a big old black spider crawling right there. Probably the mommy to these. Uh, get rid of him. Uh, get rid of these guys. All right. Just uh, just cl clean this out some. Uh, advertise to Mama Spider that this is not a harvesting place. <laughs> All right, but we do need the two holes on the on, on the top. We do not need to uh, make our groove up here. So the only thing we need is these two holes that these guys go in. We're going to set this down. Don't forget to hook up our ground. I'll say that say that again. We got to put our ground over that so we have a good ground in there. Otherwise, your lights won't work. Okay, the drill bit needed for the. Uh the holes to put the license plate on and these holes here for the mounting screws for the light is uh, is a 9 30 seconds drill bit. Now I'm drilling other holes eventually this is going to sit like this and after I bend it again um, so I'm going to show you how I put that bend in the first bend uh, in it first okay if I even said that right. <laughs> so what I did is I came out here made sure that these fit and then I bent this down I just took this and forced it down over the curve and that's how I got my first bend. And what I'm going to do is bend this back so that light is going to shine on the license plate. Another thing we're going to do is I'm going to take some black electric tape. I'm going to wrap these wires right where the sheet metal is. Because the sheet metal is sharp, but the vibration, the movement, and everything that this trailer does, I'm worried that will uh, chafe against that. So I want to just put some insulation around that with some electric tape. And that's the, that's the bend right there uh, alongside uh, the plastic piece. 
So I just used the edge of this and worked, uh, worked the other bend around and it, it works really nice. Well, as I stated, uh, I took some uh, electric tape and uh, wrapped up the wires and that's going to protect them. Uh, if you think about something here, this almost looks like chrome. <laughs> so I'm chroming out my utility trailer. Alright, so uh, go ahead and put that on there and uh, slide the screws through. The bolts through the holes in the back. You can't see it, I know that, because it's in the back. And there it is. When that's tight, when that's really tight on there, there shouldn't be too much of the, the moving around. All right, so that's uh, that's about it. I've just got two, uh, two nuts to put on the back. Uh, I can bend that out if I want. The wind's going to hit that a lot, but when this thing's uh, tighten down with the, the nuts in the back uh, it's not going to shake that much at all. Well I'm getting ready to take a load to the dump and uh, we're going to test out this uh, this thing. It does seem kind of flimsy so I want to see just what it does in the wind. So what I did is I rigged up a PVC pipe on here. It's really sturdy okay and that's where my uh, sports cam is going to be mounting right, right onto this. Not a bad hookup at all. I have it pointed down just a little bit so it's looking at that. I did not do a preview on it, but uh, it should get some attention if people are looking at it from the back. It does stick out a little bit. Okay, uh, there won't be any video, it'll just be a blue light so because it uh, uh, saves the battery uh, when it's underwater and stuff, so it's really nice. 